Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Capture One Quick Tip. Uh, today we got a nice, quick, easy one. Uh, we're going to show you how to find uh, dirt, dust, and so forth that have made it their way onto your sensor. And uh, lo and behold, they're showing up in your photos. Um, a lot of times the dust bunnies are pretty obvious, like this one right here in the center. Um, but a lot of times they're not so obvious and they actually take a tremendous amount of time and looking, you know, where are the sensor dusts and they're not that easy to see. And so I'm going to show you a quick, easy way where you can capture all your sensor dusts beforehand, quick and easy, and so that your prints and everything come out perfect. Uh, because that's the number one time you're going to see your sensor spots. Print out your photo. Put it on a canvas. Put it on a... Uh, print it out on paper. I guarantee you every single dust bunny, every lint thing will be visible in the print. Okay? So, so I'm going to show you a quick method here. Now, in uh, Capture One, it's a little bit more involved than others. Say Lightroom. Lightroom has a, a built-in spot uh, displayer. Um, but it's not a problem. We can make do in Capture One just as easily. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I'm going to show you where the uh, spot removal tool is, okay? You can come up right up top here, and you see the heel brush, right, Just, and for healing. You hold down on that, and you can see spot removal, okay? And that's how you get to that tool, okay? So that's easy enough. But I want to put us on a separate layer, okay, for what we're doing. So we're going to make two layers, okay? The first layer is I'm going to create is a healing layer, okay? That's the layer that we're going to fix the photo with, okay? Remove the spots. Now I'm going to create another layer right on top of that, and I'm just going to call it a new filled adjustment layer, okay? And right there. All right, so... This is the layer that we're going to do the healing on. And this is the layer that we're going to use to create a working spot identifier. Okay. So click on that adjustment layer. And then I want you to come down to your curves adjustment. I'm going to pull it out here just so you can make things easier to see. I'll enlarge it a little bit for you. And what you want to do is you want to turn around and put a spot about one third of the way on the shadows and about one third of the way in the highlights. Now, for those of you that took math class and trigonometry and all that wonderful things, I want to create what's called a sine wave. And so I'm going to take this spot and I'm going to draw it all the way up. Okay. Now I'm going to take the second uh, point and I'm going to take it all the way down. And you can see what we're doing is we are making a sine wave. See that? The sine wave, okay? And when that happens, we're able to see our spots very easily. So let me throw this tool back in. And now we can look and we can see. You can see, look, see these spots here, here, here. They're all easily identifiable, okay? And there's another one right here and another one right there. So that's the wonderfulness of this. All right. So, and there's one down here in the corner now. So now all we need to do to heal it is just select the healing layer. Make sure we're on the healing brush. Okay. And then... Increase your brush with the left or right square bracket key. Or you could right click and you could size your, your brush up. Make sure it's just big enough to do the job. And tap. And tap. And tap. If you need to move around, hold the space bar. There's a couple more. And there's a couple more. And so now I am healing these very quickly. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Come in here 
And I think that's the last one for now. Okay. So now I've healed all my spots on this. Okay. I no longer need this adjustment layer. Okay. Because that was just strictly for show to show us the spot. So I hit the delete button to remove it. And our photo is done. And there we are. So we have now quickly identified how to spot the, the dust and how to remove it. Pretty easy stuff. So, all right, guys, till next week, you guys take care.